Hello guys, welcome to JGK Masterclass. Guys, uh, today we are going to learn the electronic transition selection rules and uh, allowed and forbidden electronic transitions. This topic is very important for MSc chemistry students as well as for your CSIA net and gate examination. Today we will be discussing all the questions from your previous years of question paper from MSc chemistry. All our problems will be based on of your previous year question paper and uh, I'll, uh, I have prepared many more videos of your semester. So if you want, you can refer the link uh, from the description box and uh, solve more problems of your semester. And also you can uh, ask, like you can uh, suggest me some topic uh, on which I can prepare the solutions of the problems and the chemistry problems and prepare the video. You can leave the uh, suggestion in the comment box. I will prepare it and please uh, to encourage me to make more such kind of videos uh, of your previous year question papers. Please uh, subscribe my channel, share it with your friends and like the video. And if any suggestion or any comment you want, you can write it in the comment box. So we will start. First we will see the selection rules for electronic transitions. So there are certain rules uh, which you have to learn and we have to follow when we are doing the electronic transitions either in ground state or in electronic excited state so first rule is as you can say that here it is del lambda should be equal to 0 or plus minus 1 which is a orbital angular momentum and uh, basically since we know these symbols uh, will be represented by for this lambda value orbital angular momentum if you have zero value then it will be represented by sigma symbol if it is 1, we will get pi, for 2 it is delta and for 3 it is phi. So, we will see like what are the examples and by which uh, apply this uh, particular rule. So, you can see here if the transition is taking place from sigma to sigma, means sigma is having 0 value. So, 0 to 0, your selection rule says it is allowed because you are getting 0 is allowed transition. Sigma to pi that is 0 to 1. Again, it is allowed because plus minus 1 is allowed. Pi to pi, it is again 1 to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. It is an allowed transition. So, all those examples which we are discussing here belongs to the allowed transitions. Next category, like uh, we can also consider the example which is forbidden. You can see the transition from sigma to delta where the difference is 0 to delta value is 2. So, 0 to delta means uh, 2 value difference is there and the selection rule is applicable only for plus minus 1, not for plus minus 2. So, it is a forbidden transition. So, this uh, is the very first selection rule which it has to apply. If it is following this rule, the, we can say that particular transition is taking place. Now, with respect to del S0, which is the, uh, we can say with, with respect to the spin, so, we know the formula that the formula is 2s plus 1 delta g by u means this is general formula where 2s1 uh, plus 1 is represented the multiplicity. This lambda represent the symbol which we will give either sigma pi delta g or u is the classification applicable for sigma or uh, other pi symbol delta symbol but the molecule should possess the center of symmetry. If molecule has center of symmetry, it is given G or U. So, the second selection rule says that LS value should be 0. What does it mean? That the transition from singlet to singlet or triplet to triplet will be allowed. If the transition is taking place from singlet to triplet or triplet to singlet, that will be forbidden. So, you can see the example here. Transition from 1 to 1, sigma to pi is allowed. Again, sigma 1 to sigma 1, that is singlet to singlet is allowed or triplet to triplet sigma is allowed transition. So, all these transitions are allowed because here del S value is remains 0. If we are talking about 3 to 1, that is triplet to 1, that will be a forbidden transition and so we can say the following transition is a forbidden transition. Third rule is G to U, Girard to Ungirard or Ungirard to Girard, transition is allowed. 
G to G and U to U transition will be forbidden transition. So, we will see certain example. You can see here sigma G to sigma U, it is a allowed transition. Same sigma G to pi U, it is a allowed transition. While well, you can say sigma G to G or it may be U to U, it will be a forbidden transition. The next is with respect to plus to plus and minus to minus, this classification is applicable only for sigma and these transitions are allowed if it is taking plus from plus to plus or minus to minus. But if it is from plus to minus or minus to plus, that will be a forbidden transition. So, we will see here sigma plus to sigma plus is allowed, sigma minus to minus is allowed, while plus to minus or minus to plus will be forbidden. So, this plus minus classification is with respect to the reflection plane and this G and U classification is with respect to the inversion. So, these are the four selection rules which you have to learn when we are talking about the classification or we can say we are talking about the transition of uh, electronic transition from the ground state. So, we will see now the problems. The very first problem is the electronic ground state of a diatomic molecule has term symbol 3 pi u and the excited state is 3 phi g. With reason we have to tell whether the following transition is allowed or forbidden. So basically this transition is given. They are asking whether it is allowed or forbidden. So we will see first uh, with respect to this lambda value which says Greek, which represent the Greek letters. Now pi value you can say pi is refer 1 and phi refers 3. So basically transition is taking place from 1 to 3. 1 to 3 transition as per the rule number 1 it is a forbidden transition because here you get plus minus 2 difference while the selection rule says that it is 0 or plus minus 1. So based on rule number 1 it should be a forbidden transition. Now we will see uh, with respect to rule number 2 triplet to triplet is allowed transition since you are getting del s 0. Well, with respect to rule number 3, U to G is also allowed transition. So, but overall if you notice with respect to rule number 1, it is a forbidden transition. So, we can say the final, this transition is a forbidden transition. So, like that we will solve the problems. Our next problem you can see here the 3 transitions I have given to you and they are asking whether these are allowed or forbidden. So, we will start with the first and here again we will see first pi to pi that is 1 to 1 transition gives you del lambda 0. So, it means it is allowed transition. So, rule number 1 says it is allowed transition. With respect to rule number 2, singlet to singlet transition is also allowed since you are getting del as 0. According to rule number 3 that g to u transition from pi g to pi u is allowed transition. So, we can say since it is allowed with respect to each category, the overall electronic transition is a allowed transition. Next problem you can notice here. So, we will first see rule number 1 where sigma to sigma is 0 to 0 should be allowed transition. Next is with respect to multiplicity which is 4 to 2 that is if you will see total plus minus 2 difference you are getting why it should be. So, basically it is not equal to 0. It is because the selection rule says it should be equal to 0. So, therefore, it is a forbidden transition with respect to rule number 2. Rule number 3 says U to U transition or G to G is forbidden transition. And so, the overall representation, here we have one more category plus to plus because uh, that is applicable for sigma to sigma transition. That is again plus to plus transition is allowed transition. But uh, we can say with respect to rule number 2 and 3, so it is a forbidden transition. Next, so if you have understood the previous problems, so you can pause the video and try to solve it yourself and find out whether it is allowed a forbidden transition. So anyway, you will be seeing the solution now. So, first rule will apply transition from del to sigma that is del is having 2 and 3 value 0, 1, 2 actually the value should be 2 del is 2 value and uh, here the sigma is having 0 value. So, basically the transition is taking place from 2 to 0 ok not 3 to 1 it is 2 to 0 
again you will get the difference of uh, plus minus 2 that means it is a forbidden transition with respect to rule number 2 singlet to singlet is allowed transition again rule number 3 u to g is allowed transition but since we look at uh, with respect to overall it is a forbidden transition next problem in the same way they will ask you to write down the list of selection rules uh, of electronic transition you can see it uh, from the very first page and write it down and then they are finding out whether we have to find out whether these two are allowed or forbidden transition so again you try to solve it uh, pause the video and uh, find out whether it is allowed or forbidden so we'll see with respect to according to rule number one sigma to sigma is allowed rule number two triplet to triplet is allowed Rule number 3, G to U is allowed. So basically, the following transition is allowed transition. Next, sigma to pi is 0 to 1. That is allowed transition. Plus minus difference, 1 difference. According to rule number 2, 3 to 1, that is forbidden transition because now you have minus 2 difference. Del S is not equal to 0 here. So, it is a forbidden transition. The third rule says G to G is also a forbidden transition. So, overall this following transition is a forbidden transition. So, like this uh, you can uh, find out uh, the transitions uh, whether it is allowed or forbidden. We will see quickly uh, that uh, uh, two different type of problem like uh, they may ask you a symbol they have given you and ask you what does it signify so we will write off a symbol and we will see what does it signify so first is multiplicity 2s plus 1 which says a triplet so you can find out the value of s that is a spin which is says 1 so in which condition you will get 1 when you have both the electrons in the same direction plus half plus half so this is signified from the value of 3 then comes the sigma that the Greek letter value we know is 0. So, your this lambda value will be 0. That is both the electrons lambda 1 and lambda 2, uh, both electrons are in the S orbital 0. Then comes sigma g which says the molecule is having symmetry with respect to inversion. And since both the electrons uh, in g orbital, we can say it is g girard. Then comes sigma plus. Sigma plus is the molecule is symmetric with, with respect to reflection or plane uh, which contains both the electrons. So, in this way you can uh, see that I have highlighted that uh, you can find out uh, from this symbol that S value is 1, lambda value is 0, the molecule is symmetric with respect to inversion as well as a reflection. And we can say since the inversion is present that uh, G or U classification is present the molecular is homonuclear molecule and the last problem is that uh, they are giving you a term symbol and asking you to find out the value of lambda sigma and final total omega value so we will see first we can kind of calculate either you can write on 2s plus 1 or 2 sigma plus 1 so sigma value is 1 here greek letter says del value is 2 so you can say the lambda value will be 2 here and since we know the summation, the total angular momentum value is the sum of uh, lambda plus sigma till it goes all the positive values. Uh, so, lambda plus sigma minus 1, lambda minus sigma. So, like that if you solve, you will get 3, 2, 1 value and here the value 2 is given for omega. So, basically I have highlighted the answer, sigma value is 1, lambda is 2 and omega is also 2. So, like that guys, you can solve all the electronic transition for allowed and forbidden problems. I have prepared already two more videos, one on MOT and other is on term symbol. All the videos are very important for your MSc exam as well as for the competitive exams. So, please uh, do learn it, practice it, uh, practice it and uh, all the best for your final exam. Happy learning.